training, that forehand ball is like a bullet, like a missile when it comes back at you. Also in the entourage of the American. Certainly a lot of knowledge and a lot of experience now. All looking to see Keys push on. At the Australian Open against Jankovic. 50 winners and 49 unforced errors in total. Shows you just how positive she was. Taking a time with all of her serves right now. Opportunity. Well, as feel, in fact. Wide or down the tee, she's getting keys on the stretch right now. High proportion of the serves from this side of the line have been going out wide to the Americans' backhand. Let's see where she pops this next one. Good serve out wide. The back. Both players have started off in confident fashion with a joint best career victory here for Sigmund. Should she accomplish it? Victory versus Jankovic in Melbourne. Well, the serve there. She's been here before Sigmund at Love 30. Been nice and compact on it as well. Stronger side of the American, just enough pace on that serve to see the return not come back. Now well, she stayed. Absolutely rock solid here, even at love 40, to turn it round now into her favour with set point. To have a really tight swing and follow through on it. It was the first. Untidy service game from the jerk. She's putting that racket into her left arm there. Her just added a lot more weight on that one. Get the net with a volley. We're showing so far this campaign for the German. Well, that was at the Australian Open where she reached the third round. Twice gone out in the set for the American. No surprises there. The way she hits the ball generates so much. Or Rosie in the garden now of the American player. In the first set, getting after the American serve, being positive, and then very quickly approaching the net. He's not so this lady. She may be in some discomfort, Keys, but we didn't see it. And He's one big serve away from Dior here. 
just needs to be mindful of that fact here. Here, and there's a third set needed over on court number three. A match contested between Kukova and Bundarenko. Bundarenko blew the qualifier away. In just love that serve backhand combination. Comparison. One double fault as early as it is in this second set. This is a huge service game for the German, really, confidence-wise. Dropped her final two service games in this first set. She is to take this match the distance. Imperative that she starts well, as she did in the first. Being away there from the German. She may be in some discomfort, Keys, but we didn't see it there. Palm of her hand right now, Sigmund. He's one big serve away from to continue. Struck 50 winners in there. Extra couple of 25 ranking points go to her. Should she be the victorious player? Which definitely should. One shot more than perhaps she expected to. Now, does Keys go to the backhand side here with this serve? If their matches are on a drop shot, and how fitting is that from Laura Sigmund? It is the shot. She's backed up. A victory here this time last year has fallen at the very first hurdle this year. We've seen just three aces from both. Keys was beaten all ends up. Really. Point number four. Sigmund matched her all the way from the first shot up until the last with that delightful drop shot. We're taking her a while to make a name for herself on the WTA by the performance that we've just witnessed out there today. Perhaps she's here to stay for many years to come. Tennis and a big turnaround in her career last year. Things turn around for Angelique Kerber right here in Charleston. And well, a few the Germans later, she won the 